Kazuri. Swahili for something small and beautiful. Eventually, each of these handcrafted beads will become part of a unique piece of jewelry. For decades, these ceramic beads have been iconic in Kenya and extremely popular with tourists looking for something unique to take back home. This is the making or it's the molding section. This is where it all starts. And with me here, this is the clay we use and we source it or we get it at the base of Mount Kenya. Before we knew we have it here in our country, we used to, well, we were used, we, they used to import it. They used to get it from the UK and South Africa because it is a special clay. Very soft and very malleable. Now, the first thing they do, we size it, and this is how we do it. They each have an apparatus to help them to get the different sizes. And first, they make a ribbon, and then they push it in there. She'll keep on doing this to the number of the beads she has to make, and this ascertains that she gets the same amount of clay for each bead. Elizabeth Matendechero was one of the pioneers of the factory when it opened in 1975. Back then, there were only two employees in one tiny room. Now, more than 340 women work here. Most are single mothers who receive training on the job. This work has helped us and continues to help us. These women's children are able to go to school, buy books, eat proper meals. They have somewhere to sleep at night because their mothers can afford to pay rent. Even as an old woman, I'm still here. I'm happy. Currently, there are three generations of Matendicheros working at the factory. Elizabeth, her daughter and her granddaughter. This is where the most creative part of the bead making process takes place, the glazing room. Some of the beads are inspired by tribes and landscapes of the country. So after a quick apprenticeship, I'm going to attempt to decorate my own beads. So you start by dipping the beads quickly in the paint and letting it dry. And this doesn't take very long, it dries very quickly. And now we're ready to decorate the bead. So I'm going to take my orange looking paint and proceed to cover the bead with a few specks and now comes the drying process so we'll string these beads through this wire place them here to dry for about two to three hours and then they go for firing and eventually when they come out they're going to look exactly like this necklace in here this is the quality control it is the most important part of our production the 25,000 plus beads we make every day they go through each and every one of them those that don't make it past here due to imperfections are sent back to the glazing room for touch-ups this is also the stage where the beads are sorted according to orders and requirements for different export markets. Currently, Kazuri beads are stocked at John Lewis and Harrods in London, as well as stores in several European and American cities. Soon, Kazuri is hoping to enter the West African market. Maria Galang, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.